Well, uh, here's a few more complex cases. And uh, the question I'm going to ask here is, uh, what should Z be for each of these particular cases here? And uh, Z here is essentially a, a placeholder. I mean, this thing won't compile because I've not defined Z, so I'm asking, what should I set this type Z to? OK, that's the question I'm asking. And uh, let's have a look at what we've got. Um, a generic type Y there and this generic type X that we're interested in uh, we've got uh, these four variables set up using T in various ways and uh, down here in this test um, class here we're saying um, let's use uh, X of something that extends B XEB and X of something which is super B XSB and uh, no, I, I've set various things around to hit a null, but uh, that doesn't matter, that's just so it gets through the compilation. The compiler will then check that the typing is correct. That's essentially the thing I'm not interested in doing new in constructing things. I'm, I'm just interested in doing the type checking. So what are we doing? Um, in this thing here, we're, what we're doing is uh, we're setting this uh, variable z to equal t1, essentially, using um, XEB in this case, and uh, then we're um, setting T1 equal to Z in this case here, and uh, doing the same with T2, and then T3, and then T4, and then we're doing the whole thing again using uh, this here, XSZ, sorry, XSB, <laughs> um, and uh, doing the whole thing with you know, T1, T2, T3, and T4 with XSB. And in each case, we're asking what should Z be for this to work, of course. So let's have a look at um, let's have a look at these two cases down here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just show you these two, and then in the next uh, page I'll I'll uh, show you the whole lot in each particular case, and we'll go through each of the reasonings for each of them. So let's uh, see what we've got. What can we say about this? Well, here we're setting Z equal to um, to this value here. So what it means is that um, the value of that t3, if you look at it, is y is something that extends t. So we know that uh, z, that type z, has got to be a super type of y is something that extends t, otherwise that sum it's not going to work at all. Okay? And what else can we say? Well, if it's a super type, then it must be of the form y is something that extends u, where u is a super type of t. Okay, that's what it means to be a super type of that. <coughs> but what is T? It's um, something that extends, uh, that is a super B. Now, um, if you think about it, um, super B could be a whole load of things. Um, obviously, I've not, I've not shown the full tree here, there may be some more. But um, ultimately, it could even be objects. Okay, and if it was object, because object is certainly super B, so if it was object, we'd have to start thinking about why something that extends object. Okay, so the only type which is a super type irrespective of the value of T is going to be Y of that wildcard. Or, of course, um, a super type of that. That would also do. But the, the tightest bound is going to be Y of something uh, of the super type form there. That's going to be the tightest bound I can get. Of course, I mean object, of course it's going to be a super type of that. And if Y itself had a, um, uh, was, it, had a, was a, super, had a super type somewhere, we could use that. You know, it's the usual thing. But that's going to be the tightest bound I can get. Okay, what about this next case down here? We've got um, uh, this time we're, we're setting um, T3. So in that case, because we're setting it, the Z has got to be a subtype of that, otherwise the assignment won't work. Okay, so it's a subtype. So what's the biggest subtype we can get? Okay, well it's got to be of the form Y is something that extends U, where U is a subtype of, of that T. Right? So what's the biggest subtype of T we could get? 
T is something that is super B, well the biggest subtype we could get is going to be B. Okay. Right, and, and that's going to be a subtype irrespective of the value that we choose for that. It's always going to be a subtype, whatever value we choose for T, it's going to be a subtype of it, it's B. So um, Z, okay, then it's going to be uh, Y, something that extends B, or of course a subtype of it as, as usual. Because it's an assignment, you can always use a subtype, 